Hi, Rich Frazen here. I'm the founder of the Mind Muscles Academy. And Mark Walton invited me to make this special introduction to you as an introduction to our beta testing program. To do this, I want to tell you a little bit about myself and how I got to the place where I founded the Mind Muscles Academy. And the course we're offering is the Mind Methods and Markets. I started my career in the financial markets with Merrill Lynch in 1980. And it was after the Hunt Silver debacle. All the doctors, dentists, and lawyers, the typical commodity traders had gotten stung pretty badly. And it was really a tough time to start a book as a commodity futures broker. But I plugged away and eventually built a book. But after three years, it became a struggle because the way you made money was through commissions on trades. And as a result, you had to encourage your clients to trade a lot, or some in the industry call it churning. And I refused to do that. So I needed a lot more capital for my clients in order to make the same amount of money as my competing brokers. But then I wanted to trade for myself. So I leased a seat on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, and for the summer, I moved to Chicago. Well, there I renewed my acquaintance with an old college buddy, Joe Ritchie, who had started a company called Chicago Research and Trading. And he said, hey, why do this on your own? It's going to take you forever to learn. Why don't you just come and work for us? Duh, that was an easy decision. So I said, of course. So I took all the tests. I did all the compliance stuff. And the first time I walked onto a trading floor was with a badge. Now that's really unusual because normally you start as a clerk or a runner or a phone clerk and you work your way up the system and eventually you learn how it all works after a couple years and you start trading. But no, I just plunked right in there. And where did they put me? <laughs> in the S&P futures pit, the biggest, most chaotic pit in the world, first day. <laughs> My job was to hedge their delta position from their option trading. Now, Rich Friesen was a nice guy, trying to get along, kind of a sensitive guy. Do you think that worked in the aggressive pit? Not at all. I was overwhelmed. I was trying to buy and sell. I, it was hard to get my trades off, and nobody, of course, gave me the time of day. Well, then they put me into the options on the futures pit. It was more intellectual and much more my bag, but Still, I had no experience in options. I was learning what a call was. I was learning what a put was. And after a week, my trainer said to me, I'll never forget his words. He said, Rich, you are the worst trainee I have ever had. Wow. That pulled the rug out from under me. But what I discovered was there was something inside of me. There was a determination and a burning desire to be a consistently profitable, successful, professional trader. I somehow managed to survive that judgment, and CRT sent me to San Francisco at the Pacific Stock Exchange to open their first option trading desk on individual equities. Well, again, walking onto the trading floor, not very familiar with options, and, of course, there was nobody that welcomed me and said, Rich, we're so glad you're here. Let me show you how this whole thing works. Rather than that, I got cold shoulders because nobody wanted the competition. But eventually, day after day, I started learning, piecing it together. And, oh, boy, there's so many stories that I could tell about my experiences. <laughs> some of them embarrassing, some of them good. <laughs> but I slowly started putting it together. And one of the things I did that turned out to be very important is I started journaling and taking notes. We have trading jackets, and in the jackets we keep these trading cards. They're like three by six inches, and they're stiff. You can write on them. And I started writing everything I learned. I wrote my mistakes, my successes. When other traders make mistakes, their successes. I wrote how options behave, the markets. Everything I learned about my internal processes, how I screwed myself out, how I fight my brain, how I overcame those things. And eventually, I became a very successful, consistently profitable trader. There are some many stories again to tell, and I hope to get to them later. 
But what I did then is I took the profits and I started hiring other traders. I took those note cards. I entered them into a manual. I put them into a word outline and I just start entering them. And then when two or three things were kind of like similar, I'd group them under a heading, put them there. And eventually I had organized a training manual for my traders. And I put them through a long training process because I didn't want them to be just dumped on the floor like I was. So my struggle, my going from being dropped into the floor and being totally confused to developing that over a period of two decades and coming up with training processes is what you're going to benefit. What I've done is taken everything I have learned, especially on the psychological issues, and put them into a training program called Mind, Methods, and Markets. And now I'd like to give you a short video that works on one of the issues that we work on at the Mind Muscles Academy in this course. And that's an issue that many of you traders are going to recognize. And that's letting your winners run and cutting your losers short. So we're going to demonstrate how the brain functions and why this isn't your fault. It's a function of how your brain works. So hang on. Buckle up and we'll continue the video with this very important lesson and some other tidbits about your brain functioning and how you can improve them at the Mind Methods and Markets course. And here is the secret you all came to hear. The funny thing about this secret is that I can yell it from the rooftops. I can put it on the web. I could email it to every trader in the world and it will still be a secret. The reason this secret remains a secret is because it is about self-discovery. This is a journey that only a few of the top trading minds in the world will take. It either comes naturally for a few or intentionally for most of us. But how do you make this learning process intentional? Again, whether I'm coaching an experienced hedge fund manager who has a billion dollars to play with, or a new trader with $25,000 in their account, the issues are still the same. In this next few minutes, I'm going to give you a taste of how you can expand your trading mind. Needless to say, we can only touch on the big picture and give a few specific examples. Given the short time we have, I want to make sure that you leave with valuable insights that can be applied to your bottom line. We've all heard the basic trading rules, but even knowing these rules, most traders struggle to meet their goals. We all know what to do. All the conventional wisdom is in the books, the videos, and the trading rooms. We can take seminars and classes and Many of these support services are very, very good. But in spite of the excellent systems, many of us haven't reached our goals. Most of us want to have expanding and consistently profitable trading revenue. Yet with all the information, with all the great strategies and systems, we still struggle and fight our brain. So eventually, we ask, why? But a better question is, what new experiences would create better trading behaviors? This new question reframes the problem in a way that opens doors to real solutions. Let me illustrate this question with a personal story. It was the middle of the night in April of 1995 and something unusual happened. I heard something and awoke with a start. A voice, not mine, said, Rich, you're only worth $200,000 a year. I heard these words as clearly as can be. As I say them, the hair still stands up on the back of my neck, and I sat up in bed. It was 3 a.m. My wife was sleeping peacefully beside me, and nobody else was even in the room. So I got up, I showered, I dressed, I drove across the Golden Gate Bridge to uh, the San Francisco Pacific Stock Exchange. I was an independent market maker there. Uh, and when I got there, the doors were still locked. So what could I do? I sat on the floor and waited. But first, let me give you some background so you know what's going on. 
After trading successfully for a Chicago research for, uh, Chicago Research and Trading, a large arbitrage and very successful firm there, I bought my own seat on the Pacific Exchange and went to work for myself. The first year I was very, very careful. I made uh, well, about $125,000. The next year I was a little more aggressive and I made 150000 the next year, being very careful still, I made $175,000, which to me was really good money. And the next year, I made $200,000. The year after that, I made, guess what, 200000 bucks. The year after that, no change, $200,000. And that brings us to April of 1995. In that year, something very different happened. Micron, which, had, uh, which I was trading, and there was about, oh, four other uh, option traders in the Micron pit, Micron just exploded. And uh, there was so much volume, there was so much option trading, that I could not help but make money just by standing there and just buying and selling. The profits poured in. By the middle of February, I had made $200,000. That's right. In the month and a half, I had made as much as I make the entire previous years. Now, here's the problem, and here's the but. At the end of February, my account was still at $200,000, but the profit opportunities were still there. The end of March, I was still up 200,000 bucks. I'd make three, lose four, make two, lose one, back and forth. But my account did not go above $200,000. So that brings us to the start of the story, April of 1995, when I was woken up in the middle of the night with a voice that said, Rich, you're only worth 200,000 a year. <sighs> so as I mentioned, I got to the exchange floor so early, the doors were locked. I sat down, and when they opened, I went to the deserted pit, but I did something I had never, ever done before. I stood in the best spot that would be between the two busiest brokers and right in front of the exchange's order book official. In this spot, I could hear what was going on, and it gave me the first crack at orders. You need to understand that on a trading floor, no one owns a spot. It is appropriated by the most toughest, the most aggressive risk takers. They keep their alpha male spot by staying on top of the social hierarchy with various social pressures. Some command respect, others rule by fear, and they keep their place as a bully. Well, the other market makers started drifting in. It was a few minutes before the opening bell, and no one gave much thought to my new pit position. The guy who always stood there just stood beside me chatting. And when the bell went off, he nudged me and stepped into his spot. I didn't move. It was like a jolt of electricity went through the pit. A pushing match ensued, and I pretended I was wearing concrete boots. I was not going to move. The order book official quickly warned us to break it up. We could get a $10,000 fine for getting physical. And I remained in my spot. As the bell went off, I became a wild animal. I, you got to understand that I'm a very intellectual trader, very careful, and I stand at the back of the pit and calculate option values and take small bites out of big orders, but this time was different. I went crazy. I was screaming, waving my hands, buying and selling. I'll buy 50, sell you 30 and a half. Buy them, buy them, pay a quarter. I'll pay a quarter, buy 100. I just went buying and selling. I bought and sold every series and the... And the pit thought that Rich Friesen had gone berserk. Well, berserk or not, that year I went on to make $650,000 and for years after that. You see, it turned out that I had an internal limiting thermostat set at $200,000. I was fighting my own brain. The voice in the middle of the night represented that limit. Once expressed, I realized that didn't apply to who I was anymore. Now this brings us to you and trading profits. Trading is a wonderful profession because it creates the deepest challenges for us personally. 
it gives us a chance to test ourselves in an arena that most people are afraid to enter. With the feedback cycles on a daily basis, we have the opportunity to advance rapidly in a way that most people will never discover. We know that becoming a competent heart surgeon, a physicist, or military pilot, these require lots of training and the results could take years to pay off. However, since trading is mostly a mental game with rapid feedback cycles, small changes in how you think can produce big, immediate results. The holy grail of trading is not something you have to look for. It's hiding in plain sight, right between your ears. So, let's look at some ways that you can improve your trading right now. Today's agenda is going to highlight four areas. Mind muscle exercise will do. We're going to take an overview of mind traps. We're going to look at the big feature of this video, uh, letting your winners run and cutting your losses short. And then we're going to give you the opportunity to look at our beta testing membership. So first, let's look at the mind muscles exercise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a series of slides. Each slide will have the name of a color on it. I want you to shout out the color of the letters you see on the following slides. Verbalize them as quickly as you can. In fact, shouting them is really a great idea. So for example, the color that we see of the letters is blue. So now let's practice. I'm going to count to three and everybody shout blue as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three, blue! Now that's what we're going to do. We're going to verbalize the color of the letters as quickly as you can. So I'm going to change the slides very quickly. So be fast and be loud. And in fact, if you want, invite your friends or your spouses or whoever's in the house to join you in this exercise. You can put her, the video on pause, uh, ask them to join, and give them the rules. So when you're ready, you can start the video again. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Remember the color of the letters. Jack is trying very hard not to say the word but the color of the letters. He's trying to build a new mind muscles. How was that for you? What happened when your brain wants to do one thing and you know the rules are different? Shortcuts help us in our everyday lives. But when we're thrown a curve, our neural pathways are greased for the shortcut and go down the path. We kept reading the word. And many of you f uh, found that you could overcome that with some conscious effort. Now, you know how that felt in your brain when you overrode the shortcut. You literally had to consciously create new neural connections. It's important to notice how this feels because to improve trading behaviors, you're going to call on this same experience. With practice, you can also interrupt old trading patterns that no longer serve you. We'll have this and other brain-changing experiences in the course. We have additional exercises in the Making Mind Muscles lesson that give you a positive experience of creating new neural connections and trading behaviors that serve you better. Focusing on the, just the human genetic heritage, our ancestors who survived passed down genes that contain the processes that kept them alive. Without these genetic structures that create survival behaviors, we wouldn't be here today. There is a positive intent behind every bias in your decision process. These spring from the hardwired survival instincts. This is why some responses seem so hard to change. However, to, we now live in a very different world. The world of trading requires behaviors that are very different from the survival reactions that remain part of our primitive brain. We no longer need to react violently when another trader annoys us. 
In the last 30 years, Mind Muscles has identified over 60 myths, biases, and mind traps that impact both professional and independent traders. These internal destructive programs or NEMs, neural meta structures, keep us from our trading goals. These biases apply even to the smartest people who manage billions of dollars in assets. This is because we all still have primitive parts of our brain holding us back. These biases, in aggregate, are very expensive. But what if, just imagine, what if you were to eliminate the worst trading mistakes you made? What would happen to your equity? You can check the resource page we'll show you at the end uh, to take the assessment that calculates this potential number. So now let's look at the main feature of this video, letting your winners run and cutting your losses short. This is a real big problem that most traders face. Houston, we have a problem. We all know the old adage, cut your losses and let your profits run. And the problem is that it's not your fault. It's just how our brain is organized to avoid the pain of losses and avoid the fear of giving back gains. Once you understand how your brain biases work, we can create an exercise that builds new mind muscles that serve you better. Let's look at the process step by step. Let's say you buy your asset at 100 and set a stop at 96. The next thing is that it ticks down two ticks to 98. The question is, have you lost money yet? When I ask this question to my traders, most will say no. They believe that not until they liquidate the position have they taken a loss. You see, our brain does not want to feel the impact of loss. It may downshift us into an alert mode, we may become more anxious, but we haven't emotionally realized any loss yet. Okay, now it down ticks one more dollar to 97. Have we lost money now? Our brain will not want to recognize any losses. It ticks up a buck, we start to get excited, our beliefs about the trade are going to work. Uh oh, ticks down one and a half to 96 and a half. What does our brain down do now? It wants to avoid the pain of loss. It downshifts to fear of loss. And what happens next? It pulls the stop. As long as the trade is open, there is hope to avoid the loss. More than anything else, we want to avoid getting stopped out and missing the big rally we knew is coming and then feel like an idiot. We enter a new stop below the support line of 93. So what happens next? The market drops again, this time to 95. Then it drops again to 93 and a quarter. You know it's going to bounce from here. It's a better buy than 100 when you bought it, and you're right. It bounces. It bounces off of support and rallies to 95. Then it drops again, testing the stop and you just know what's going to happen next. They're going to run the stops before the big rally. So you cancel the stop. Now it drops again and again. And the loss is going to take all of last month's profits. You stare in disbelief. You're frozen. And finally you pull the plug at 90. And this is only to watch it turn around and have a strong rally to the close. You've just lost one month of profits and a great trading opportunity. Now let's take a look at a peek inside our brains on the other side of the ledger. We purchase our asset at 100 and we put a stop in at 96 and put a target of 109 and then it happens. The beautiful thing, it ticks up immediately. Wow, did we pick the right entry. We executed the strategy perfectly. We're so happy. This trade is going to be a big winner. Then it ticks up again, and it ticks up again. Wow, did we call that one right. Our brain is now beginning to link this good call to all sorts of issues. And this is all out of our awareness. 
You may not believe it, but this is what has come up with my clients. Earning our father's respect, getting rich, being accepted by others, getting laid more often, getting our spouse's approval. This will make up for that boneheaded trade I made yesterday. I can brag to others in my trading room. These and other emotional links that are specific to each person are being formed in the brain as the asset clicks higher and higher. Uh-oh, it just missed our target and ticked down. Well, that's okay, the momentum still looks good. It ticked back up, almost there. Another uptick. Oops, down tick, down again. We hold our breath, another down tick. Whew. We may be all right, we just got an uptick. We're almost there. Yes, a final uptick will do it. Uh-oh, big down tick. Crap, another down tick. Now, let's freeze this market right here and ask a question. Has this trader made or lost money? If you look at the profit and loss only with closed positions, the answer is obviously no. You haven't made or lost money because you haven't closed the position. Or if you look at the profit and loss from a market to market framework, the trade is still profitable. However, if you reframe this position from your brain's point of view, the trader has lost $5.50. How is this possible? That's because the brain has already banked the profits from that tippy top of the high water mark. It has not only banked the profits, but it has banked the emotional results of those profits also. So now the brain is losing. This puts the trader in the pain of loss mode, both the loss of cash and the loss of imagined benefits. And what do we do? We sell for a small profit and then watch the market explode through our target price of 109. We avoid the pain of loss when the market is going against us. We feel the pain of loss and the missed opportunity. We feel the pain of loss when we're in the winning trade, so there's a reason why cutting losses and letting winners run is such a challenge. It's not your fault. But there's good news. Mind muscles can be built that serve you better. Several years ago I built a training course for an international training academy for day traders. As part of my contract, I had to teach the course for the first time so their traders could, their own trainers could teach it. Part of the policy was that returning students could come back to the course for free. A particular class had a returning student. He was in a dark period of trading losses and he was looking for solutions to the mind traps that plagued him. His problem was that he let his losses run time and time again. As a result of the large losses, he became fearful of putting on trades and was freezing when he needed to execute. We created the Profit Lost Mind Muscle Exercise. This game can be played by all traders who have a simulated or demo, demo account. The complete instructions to building this new mind muscle is on the resource page and I urge all of you to do this exercise if you have this issue. You all know what muscle memory is. The mind muscle memory is for taking small losses with a smile on your face. What would happen to the equity in your trading count if you reduced your errors? The Mind Muscles Academy has an online calculator so you can discover this number for yourself. You can enter your own unique situation and we calculate the impact of the error reduction on your account in five years. You can look at our resource page and you can do this for yourself with your own unique numbers. We've completed the mind muscles exercise. We've looked at an overview of mind traps. The feature addition was the letting your winners run and cutting your losses in which we step through what the brain experiences so you can understand what pressures are going on in your brain as you repeat this unhelpful behavior and we're pointing to exercises that can help you improve your mind muscles to, to let your winners run and cut your losses short. 
And now I want to talk about something that I'm very excited about, and that is beta testing our Mind Methods and Markets course. Have you ever wanted to be a beta tester? It can be a lot of fun to help co-create the next release of the Mind Methods and Markets course, but is it right for you? I want to take a moment to just talk to the traders who are ready to step into a path of consistent profitability. Like learning to fly a jet fighter, there is a lot of engineering, mechanics, and muscle memory that need to be built up. Nobody criticizes a student who wants to be a neurosurgeon from starting with a biology course. No one criticizes a fighter jet pilot for learning in a Cessna 152. Since trading is mostly a mental game, it makes sense to start with a first course on experiencing your mind. Yes, you need to find the best trading methods or strategies. And yes, you need to have a solid understanding of the markets. But ultimately, it is your mind that makes a difference. The Mind Muscles Academy method of getting better trading results is to give you new experiences. We do this with simulations, assessments, guided visualizations, and thought problems. These experiences give you both more trading resilience and a wider menu of trading behaviors to choose from. These new behaviors feel better, align with who you are, and get you to your goals. Some traders on this webinar may not be ready to take a step onto this path, and I understand that. My experience in hiring traders and building a trading firm is that most traders have to experience some levels of pain before they're ready to make this step. However, if you are one of the committed traders, and if you're ready to stretch your brain, I have an offer that you can't turn down. You can become a beta tester of the Mind Methods and Markets course, and this invitation is limited to the first 100 traders who signed up. I'm looking for beta participants in each of these categories. If you're new to trading, this can start you off on the right foot. If you're experienced and want to hone your mental skills and exercises, our exercises will do that. If you're a struggling trader, our error reduction exercises will be of great interest. If you're a professional trader, this work will leverage your larger capital for increased gains. It doesn't matter what level you are because you still need to change behaviors to improve your trading. Everyone wants to improve, and that's what the Mind Muscles Academy supports. This course will eventually have a dozen or so lessons that are critical to your trading success. Currently, we have crafted the first four lessons, and they've been through the alpha testing stage. Additional lessons will be added that address all the critical mind methods and markets trading functions. These uh, additional courses will also be listed on the resource page. The version 1.0 will be released with more lessons and will sell for $1,995 for a lifetime membership or $199 a month. However, since this course is still in beta and some of the content is still to be produced, I'm offering a deal that you really can't turn down. The beta invitation includes a lifetime membership to the course. Just sign up today and agree to be a beta tester and complete the surveys after each lesson. Each of these feedback surveys only takes about five to seven minutes. Also, you can volunteer for a phone interview after you've completed the lessons and have that personal conversation with me, Rich Friesen. A beta tester will also enjoy all the benefits of version one, no matter how many upgrades or lessons we add. Your membership will be secure. You can visit the academy as many times as you wish, uh, take the existing lessons, or take the new lessons as we add them. I'm also offering uh, weekly teleseminars and forums for the beta testers only. This will give you additional personal support. We have no plans to make these available once the version 1.0 is released, but there will be no additional charge for these teleseminars. Each hour will be devoted to your experience with lessons and your issues. The live portion will play, take place on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and the sessions will be recorded for those who can't make the live sessions. 
Additionally, I'll be personally available for email and brief calls if you feel stuck at any point. Now, I can't offer this personal attention once the course is released to the general trading public. I'm really encouraging all of you to start the course together. Uh, this way you can support each other and, is, and we can uh, talk about each section in the uh, teleseminars and the forums and we can support trading behaviors that serve you better. So the question is, is this course for you? I've already discussed what it's about and if the answer is yes, all I'm going to ask is that you pay a monthly membership of $199 but you just pay this once for a lifetime access to the course. So be one of the first hundred traders to register. I look forward to working with you. You can see the details uh, in the resource page below. So please join me on this incredible journey as you explore and expand your mind while increasing your trading resilience.